Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about differentiation and we're apply the quotient rule. We're going to differentiate each function with respect to x. So if I was given this function, y equals 2 over 2x to the fourth minus 5, okay? So what I want to do here is a lot of times we're going to label what is my f and what is my g, all right? So our function here has two parts, the f, which is a 2, and g, which is 2x to the fourth minus 5. Uh, sometimes what I'll do is I'll quickly just label that. I'll say, okay, f is equal to 2, and g is equal to 2x to the fourth minus 5. And then, even while we're at it, we can say, okay, what's f prime? So I'll just take what's f prime here. We'll derivative of 2 is 0. And uh, g prime is just, well, I'll take a derivative of this using the power rule. We have 8x to the third. And then not minus anything because derivative of 5 is 0. So now we have our f, our g, our f prime and g prime. So now all we need to do is apply the quotient rule. So dy dx is equal to our quotient rule, right? We have our f up top, our g down here, right? That's f over g. So let's uh, plug in our parts. f prime, 0, times g, which is 2x to the 4th minus 5, minus f, which is 2, times g prime, which is 8x to the third, all over g squared, 2x to the fourth minus 5 squared. So now let's simplify that, okay? Well, 0 times this whole part is just 0, so we don't really need that, so we have our dy dx here. That just kind of goes to 0. Let me write that out. And then 2 times 8 uh, is 16. It's a negative, so we have negative 16 here, x to the third. And then the denominator, all right, we need to uh, multiply that out. Now, if you want to see a little note here, what's, uh, sometimes I like to do little notes on the side. 2x uh, to the fourth minus 5, all squared. That we can write as 2x to the fourth minus 5. If you can't really do this in the head, just write it on the side here, that's fine. And then we're going to uh, multiply this out, distribute out, or FOIL, if you've heard that before, okay? 2x to the fourth uh, times 2x to the fourth is 4 x to the 8th, we add the exponent here. Uh, 2 times 5 is a negative 10, so we have negative, uh, or negative 5 to 10, negative 10, x to the 4th. Here again, the negative 5 times 2x to the 4th is another negative 10, x to the 4th. And then negative 5 times negative 5 is a positive 25. We add them together, we have 4x to the 8th, minus 20x to the 4th, plus 5. And there we have it down here. Negative, oh sorry, 4 x to the 8th minus 20 x to the 4th plus 5, and that actually is just our final answer. We have our derivative now dy dx is equal to negative 16 x to the 3rd over 4 x to the 8th minus 20 x to the 4th plus 5. So let's recap. We're given our function here. y equals 2 over 2 x to the 4th minus 5. I label the top f, the bottom part g, all right, the denominator g, at two different functions. I then found what f prime and g prime were. I then can apply the quotient rule, okay? So I filled in my spots here, f prime g minus uh, f g prime all over g squared. So I just kind of picked from up here, put it in. Then I simplified that, uh, and then by simplifying that and uh, multiplying out here, um, and then there was nowhere else I could simplify past this part here, I was left with dy dx, my derivative, my final answer is equal to negative 16x to the third over 4x to the eighth minus 20x to the fourth plus 5.